Welcome back to another episode of Legion of Kicks. This is our very first podcast. I don't know if it's going to be called Legion of Kicks. If you have a good idea, leave it down in the comments. Legion of Talk. Legion, Legion of Talk. Talk. There yeah. you go. So. Check in with everybody, see what they're wearing. Ask what you got on today. Listen, I was at work. I got the cozy feats on, the foam runners, can't go wrong with them. I put on my uh, rookie, rookie of the year. Just, and then I got the starfish lows. So, you know, just something for the summer. I don't know about you guys, but I rock. I like the starfish. The Those are slept on, honestly. I mean, they're not really slept on because the, the price. The market's down on that. I bought them at like 215, and I'm pretty glad about that. Dude, because they like went three. up to like three, and then they went down again to like 220, 225. Nah, they might be back like up there again, I think. Really? Because the summer's. Yeah, yeah, it's a summer shoe, it's and I invested in the same. I have two pairs. I invested in. Cause the you know what the of? the shattered backboards. Yeah, they the reverse. One, they is did. it the reverse? The reverse. That that's, reminds me of yeah, the low shattered yeah, backboard. Yeah, the reverse, but the lows. Yeah. That's exactly what that reminds me of thinking yeah. about it now. What are your favorite sneakers right now? Like right now, just so. Like, what do I wear? Oh. For me, I gotta say I've been eyeing the Moonbeam. 990s from New Balance, and I might pull the trigger on it. I'm so close to pulling the trigger. But uh, other than that, I haven't even been looking at yeah. Jordans or anything besides, you know, uh, balance right now. I'm not going to lie. What's, what's been, like, hitting me right now is SBs. I feel like SBs are super slept on. But is so still annoying. a big, big uh, hit in SB? It depends, honestly. A lot of people like it. Like, it's like a classic. I liked like, it, honestly. I have a pair. I, I like them. I need to go and cop a pair because the price is perfect right now. Yeah. Yeah, 220 well, right? Yeah, like price is perfect. Yeah, they, There's they a are. couple. Dunks. What? Uh, so right now, my on my list. Once like I decide to spoil myself, definitely the berry pack. Oh yeah, the, the blues, cherries. The red, bro, the they're, they're all only three hundred dollars. Yeah, yeah, the green apples. Bro, I remember the last convention we was at. There was a guy walking around with Bart Simpson uh, <laughs> SBs, and somebody said they're like two eighty. He looked at him like, "Yo, psh, come on, man, three fifty. Like them shits are. Look at the market now. He's yeah, probably gonna yeah. wish he sold them on two eighty yeah. now. Well, that's if he didn't sell them. I think he sold like two or three. He sold like two or three? Yeah, he was literally That's walking around. You remember That's that guy? He was literally walking around yeah. with only that Because even when I was like, three, he's like, no. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, All right. Yeah. I'm happy, though, because that would have been a waste. Cause... That was in the last video of Legion of Kicks. If you haven't seen it, we went to the Just Nice sneaker event, and it was pretty fun out there. Yeah. There's yeah. another one coming up. Just Nice. Huge next shout week. out. Oh, yeah, and then Just they Nice got is, the uh, next one in uh, Wildwood. Yes. It's going to be lit. The one next week, too. Soul to Exchange. Soul, exchange? soul to Soul. Soul, soul to Soul. We'll be out there uh yes. july 16th yeah man i i have a lot of sneakers i want to cop but right so now do I. Just, i've been investing tough. in other things that's what it is yeah i've been trying to be smarter with my money investing into different yeah, things i could you, flip if you can invest into the smaller expenses like the smaller flips right now my main thing is funko's Funko, yeah, you pay, you, you spend ten dollars, you make the same profit as you do with shoes, exactly, exactly. and you're okay with taking a ten dollar loss compared to paying two hundred and ten dollars for a four, and it only going for like even under retail. Some of the fours are now. Now my biggest retail. question is, do you think the market still has a bottom, or are we at the bottom? I feel you like it might get a little lower. lower. Yeah. I don't know. It's I feel little. like everybody just starts scared selling because they really need money because they realize like, all right, I'm sitting on like 20 pairs of shoes. Exactly. And on top of that, everything is restocking like yeah. crazy. Like, pandas I'm are stocking seeing... every week. Think about it. Pandas are at an all-time low right now. If you have don't have a pair of pandas, buy them like now. Yeah. They're all under 200. Do you think pandas get to the point where they're 150? That would be a bad representation. Some of them are at 150. Really? Some of them are. Yes. Depends on the size. Some of them are at 150. So there's, there's, two, there's two sides to the story. So people are very happy about this and other people are not happy about this obviously you know in this room we're probably happy about it because now we can buy most of us are collectors here that's what it's it is it's a sneakerhead yeah. market we market. sneakerhead market more, like, yeah. the three of us here we're more collectors than we are resellers exactly. that's it that's what it should be all about that's it is because we all got love for the shoe that's what it exactly. is but like I'm more of a collector at this point. Exactly. I like having my shoes, looking at them. I, I try to wear most of my shoes. I enjoy selling my shoes too, bro. Yeah, that's of course. Of I enjoy game. I enjoy selling too. <laughs> I mean, that, that's part of the I'm game. not a reseller, but I enjoy selling the. I do hundred percent. I, I enjoy taxing yeah, like little kids. I get I get a, a substantial amount of wares from a per particular shoe colorway, yeah. and now I'm like, all right, that's it. You yeah. know, boom, to get something else. You yeah, know, yeah. That's, that's the way I look at shoes. I actually took advantage of this recently. I bought the Sean Woods. Oh, that's a good story. But I was so that, excited. That could our next it was like nine hundred with tax and all that. It came to like eleven something, and I was gassed. 
but uh, StockX caught the fake. Well, surprisingly. Yes. Would, speaking yeah. about that, though, it's been a crazy situation because I don't know if you saw the most $10, recent... $10,000 worth in sneakers? You saw that post, right? Yeah. It was yeah, like yeah, Mocha's, yeah. UNC's... Half of them were fake. Hyper Royals, I think. Yeah. I think the authenticators, they don't they don't really have the top enough. class. And probably they probably get like a room full of like this to verify. So they're trying to get as fast as possible through it. Probably. And some people are just that lazy yeah. at work they don't do the exactly. whole mocha search because the mochas are harder to authenticate than your other shoes i think because we've gone i've gone fake pair of mochas into the store like a few times it's this would be like my we give them away for free because at that point we don't care just write it off as a loss wait so if someone brings you a pair of mochas and they're fake you, you just give them away if the person tries to sell to us, we tell them like, "Listen, like we're not, we like to keep fakes off the streets because mm. we don't want people paying like five hundred dollars oh. for a fake pair of shoes." Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, we'll tell the person, like, "Listen, they're fake, and that's up to them. They want to keep it. We'll let them keep it as their shoe. We're not gonna steal it from them." But they're like, "Oh, can you guys just keep it?" And we just give it away. Yeah, so, this like, happened before. People are like, "Yo, can you keep it?" Yeah, like I said, we have mochas that we got in fake, uh, Spartan off whites. What do you guys think about rap? Uh, so now, first of all, do you think that if uh, you went about your way? You go to a sneaker event and you wear three thousand dollar Travis Scotts. Is that a bad move or? All right. Don't flex it like it's real. That's my thing. If you're gonna sit there and be like, "Yeah, I got these for the low," don't flex it like it's real. Because if someone calls you out on it, you're gonna be mad. Yeah. You got your your. Because like that's kind of like jeans. <laughs> your fake Mary jeans, fake Montclair <laughs> coat on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like that, so you, you, I, you got it. I gotta agree it. with that because like if you're stunting, like you got the money, and you really don't. Like that's kind of you get out of your rent that's your kind of messed up. app facts like I got my Tesla series. I'm yeah. paying $200 a day for got it for the weekend yeah, yeah. I got a Tesla but, you know fuel the economy but <laughs> if you, you're, you're on a budget you don't really have if you're buying to spend it, yeah. and you want to have that outfit to go like I don't, I'm not mad at that to me overdoing it is wearing fake head to toe though that, to me it's like pushing like you got, you got the fake Gucci shirt on fake Mary jeans you got the fake Travis Scott song it's like oh man brother I ain't got it man like, at that point, thing. if it's Paper. all fake, then it's real to me. <laughs> Damn. It's made in the same factory, right? No, I don't know. Honestly, though. Well, that's what they say. The fakes are all made in the same factory with the same materials. That's that's essentially the argument that fakes aren't really fake. They're real sneakers, just not given the stamp of approval by Nike. That's so true. If Nike said, I want to make 10,000 pairs. That would be like the 10,001 pair. So, like, I know we got the fake mochas in, right? They look good until you smell them, they smell bad. And they were DS. They smell they didn't smell good. And I showed you guys a video, so I went over with the black light. Oh, it passed, the, the it passed everything, right? You flipped over to the soul. There was we'll a put that stamp. video in this video too. You guys have it stuff? Yeah. There was a stamp oh, yeah. there was a stamp from the factory on it and you were like I was like, damn. At the end of the day, I know if you're wearing fake sneakers and you know about it, you gotta feel a certain kind of way about yeah. it. Yeah. Like I know I you know, I'm like, I, hope no one calls me out. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I hope nobody calls me out. I've worn a pair of, uh, oh, I bought a pair of fake sneakers off eBay one time, and I, you know, I had no idea they were fake. Um, but I got called out on it, and when I did, that was like the worst feeling ever. So I had fake Concord Levis. Lou knows about. We didn't that. have fake Concord Levis. I feel like that was a, that was like the first like crazy fake shoe. I feel like. Bro, that right? shoe was that so shocking. shocking bro. That shocked me. I used to I used to take this one shoe to shout out to uh, what's that store? Image. Flushing? Image. Image New York. I used to take all my shoes there for consignment and then pick up my check. This one time, normal dropping off consignment, he reviews my shoe after going so many times. Fake Elevens, bro. And he was literally telling me like, this is the most replicated shoe. It's very easy to replicate. And a lot of fakes are out there, probably the most. At yeah. that time. How much did you pay for your fakes? Uh, three fifty on eBay. <sighs> but then I did some foul That's shit free. that I don't know we want to include in the video. No, no, we don't no, encourage no, this type yeah, of activity. Yeah. You know, it was. You, you, sl you slid in your ops. <laughs> so, I went into <laughs> Craigslist and I put uh, replica Jordans for sale, or I put like Air Jordan Elevens for sale, <laughs> and I sold it. I put replica Jordan. I mean, I put <laughs> the real <laughs> shit. So basically, I I showed up to the mall. I showed the person that was about to buy the shoe, here's the shoe, and he was like, oh man, they look worn. They look a little too worn. How about 120 instead of 150? So I was like, yeah, sure, why not? So I just drove off. And then I sold them another pair of real bread fours for $55, bro, at the time. They were beat to hell. Oh, so that was like my good karma. Like, I'm trying to balance it out. I kind of want bread fours now. And though. then he texted me like, yo, a lot of my friends are telling me these Concord 11s are fake. Blocked. And I was like, <laughs> that's oh, you did? Oh. Yeah, that's it. And I was like, do you know that your friends start telling you that? Do you know that? Like, 
Do you, are you Damn. like sure about that? And and I just stopped texting. So I don't encourage that type of activity, kids. Yeah. But moral of the story: Don't scam people. Don't, if don't it's do it. fake, it's fake. If it's real, the camera got, nice, got the camera good for job. <laughs> no, nobody cares at the end of the day if you're rocking Actually, fakes you know or reels. If you got fashion, you got style, you're gonna rock what you want to rock. Listen, don't let anybody stop you. Honestly, Ant, I'm not gonna lie. I've done, I've done it before. I've sold fake sand foam runners. Didn't know they were fake though. Uh, that's doesn't. See, that doesn't count. That's not ever, as foul. That's not as foul. Have you ever sold any fakes? But well, the person I told me they were fake. Have the same story, bro. All right, yeah. Have you sold any fakes? Knowingly, knowingly sold fake sneakers. You wanted to get that money back that you spent. Because you wanted to get that chicken. <laughs> you wanted to get that scratch. I want at least half of that shit back. Facts. He's trying to recoup. You should have got it back in blood. You should have hacked the guy's IP. Jeez. <laughs> Have I ever done that? I've never sold fakes to anybody. I never. I've oh. purchased fakes. <laughs> I said hot air. <laughs> so only one that knows that. Oh, wait, is it? Is it Yo, or pause? my mic doing? says 11. You oh, that won't get copyright right for that. that. Hell no. <laughs> no. Wait, wait, do it again, do it again. Damn, now you added to the copyright justification. It's, it's a royalty free ringtone? <laughs> royalty free ringtone. <laughs> All right, sneaker market, mochas, reps. All right, so right now, sneakers, if you missed out, this is your chance to get them. Yeah, the sneaker market is down. down. You want a cup of buy Oh, right man, don't even get me started. I'm going to cop right now. I don't have enough money in my bank account to cop everything I want to The cop. Daytona. You know I can cut that out, right? Yeah. No, I just... I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> man, shut the, in the middle of my sentence, ahead, shut the whole bro. thing. I <laughs> I want the Daytonas, I want the Moonbeams, I want the Sea Salt, I want, these are all New Balance, by the way. The Sea Salt, yeah? <laughs> yeah, yeah, the 990s, I think, are the new wave. Um, That's a bad shoe. It really is, but I'm really, I'm really liking them. I'm really liking them. No, 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 not yet. See, my dad, he's, my dad's a true hype beast. His dad's shoe is the 7, uh, I'm sorry, what are they called? 700s? 700s, yeah. 500s? No, those. 700s. 700s. Yeah, yeah, the Wave Runners. Yeah, my dad loves Wave Runners. You know what? They are nice. I'm 32 now. And yeah, bro. Certain shoes, I'm too old to rock. Like wave what? Runners? If, for example, Cool You're too old to rock nah, Wave Runners? Nah, if you walk, if you, if you rock Cool Grey 11s, bro, you definitely like an old head with some Damn, Cool Grey 11s man. on. Yo, I got Cool Grey 11s. With the Cowboys fitted hat on. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> cool Grey 11s with the Cowboys jersey. And the jorts. And the jorts? That's yeah, a no, I that's not, that's not vibe. Carmine Sixers? Like, bro. I we actually got some into the store. And, yo, we got them just into the store, bro. They were cooked. And they're the most recent releases, too. Carmine Sixes? Yes, bro. I'm talking about, like, heel drag. Yellow is, like, pee. Damn. <laughs> Damn. I sold my back in the day, I think, for, like, 420, bro. Bro, wait, you want to see something it crazy? Was more rare oh, back wait. Then. Let me show you guys something crazy. Let's go to my StockX history, right? You guys can see how low I, used to, I sold stuff for in the past. All right. Jordan 12 UNC is almost, what? Seven hundred dollars now. Yeah, sold them for two hundred and eleven dollars. Wow, this was two thousand eighteen. Not too long ago either. Yeah, the market has changed. Some of that's the thing. Like that's what pisses me off. Cause like there's some sneakers that I'm holding on to that I want to sell because I I bought them early on thinking they were a good investment, and the market is just down and. I'm afraid I'm gonna do just like that. Sell it for two hundred, and then I'm gonna blink a year later. It's gonna be five hundred dollars. Ready for this next one? Storm blue ones. Can you guess how much I sold them for? You sold them for three hundred. Two eighty. One ninety two. Damn, Damn, they're like six now, right? Yes. Damn, the storm blues are six. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. bro, bro. Just sit. They were just sitting. Just sit. That was that was like the Marina ones, basically. Yep. The Marina ones really didn't sit though. They no. were just kept restocking. They fucking sit. Like no, no, they Marina, you can go. You can go to Fort Lauderdale and cop some Marina ones. Really? I haven't full seen them. Run. I haven't seen them. the the ones I was gonna say was uh the Game Royals, mm. the Game Royal ones. Oh, Those no. went on sale. Not the lows, the high tops. No, 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 the high tops. Yeah, yeah, yeah they went on sale. I remember you could get them at a freaking. What's that one? Jimmy Jazz. Yep. I had two 2018 Shadow, uh, the Shadow ones for 2018, two of them. I panic sold one hmm. and a Black Cement 3 brand new <laughs> StockX. Damn. When the pandemic hit, because I thought it was going to be like right now. Right. The pandemic? Things are going to go. Uh, well, well, during the pandemic, you got everybody that was scared, and then they realized, oh, wait, my. I could buy sneakers, get it delivered to me, and then flip it and still make money? Yep. People, that's right. We got a lot of resellers and a lot of live streamers out of the pandemic, 100%. Yes, yes. Yeah. You a got a whole bunch. Of, it's, a, it's a correction, market correction. I you mean... All in the, in the other uh, markets, where the market right now, is it's weaving off 
uh, it's pushing away the basically the casuals mm -hmm. and bringing in only the experts. Yep. Okay. That's kind of true. Uh, I see what you're saying. Because now you're at a time if you don't know what you're doing, you're gonna get finessed 100. Yeah. percent Like if you go into a store, let's say like with some uh, wave runners, right? Actually, not a bad example because they're even doing bad right now. Wave runners are only doing like 30 over. Yeah, because they restock so many times with them. So like, let's say like, all right, someone's mom walks in with these, right? They're like, oh, these are my sons. You know, he told me to sell them for him, right? I don't know what they're worth. They're gonna be like, all right, like, you know, we'll give you two. The mom's gonna take it because she's like, all right, it's whatever. My son didn't say anything. Two hundred dollars sounds like a lot to her. Yeah, exactly. Like two hundred dollars. Like, oh, like hard to steal. Yeah. About stockation or my If you watch YouTube a lot, there's a guy Trash Aladdin. I'll put it back. Trash Aladdin. Bro, Trash Aladdin does just that. Really? Gives the lowest price and the lowest offer to people, and he and they take it and they buy they it. I don't know. But some people do know, and they even like argue back with him. But he just has a method that seems to work. The, the I do that too. Deal closer to is cash. Like you bring cash You're like listen I'll do you $20 cash And then that's it It's like a quick Like get rid of it Cash Yeah no Venmo No PayPal Nothing Cash and you met up somewhere Cause cash it's like I made the, the trip for what That's it You know make it worth it or not Like I sold a pair of Military fours Grade school the, the guy lived like 40 minutes away He paid me gas money On top of The 200 I was asking oh, So he gave me like 220 For That's nice Grade school That's nice How much is grade school Like 180 Nah like 160 Oh okay From fours I think it's like 160 Something like that I don't know but yeah, that's one shoe I want to double up on. The black militaries. Military. I have a pair oh, that I'm yeah. trying to get rid of. You do? I'll have it at the show. So the soul, if you're there, go ahead oh, and uh, check me out. Did you drop something? I right, smacked my kneecap. Oh damn, that's a that was a gunshot. Firm knee. <laughs> that's a firm knee. So are you guys gonna start reselling guns if they become legal? Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> easy, easy. Let's not let's not get into that <laughs> conversation. NRA. This is not NRA. This is not approved no, for kids. Approved. Sorry. <laughs> All right, so I am gonna go ahead and show off now. Now the Cortezes. 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 If you guys haven't known, uh, the Cortezes released last weekend, right? Yes. Last so, two weeks ago. Honestly. Two weeks ago. Fa fairly new. Fairly new. Bro. I am. I, I'm like I'm the fan of the dunks and the ones. These were like a miss to me because I'm not gonna lie. If you're picking these up. You gotta go like two, three sizes up. Really? Yeah. Wait, two, three sizes two, up? I wish I was joking. So I'm size 11, right? I got an 11 and a half and I was still tight. Damn. So either like go half size up or even like full size. But I feel like even like, a full yeah, size. Like full it's, size. It's the Cortez material. That's what it is. These, what, when we review it, you're seeing materials like. I never owned a pair of Cortezes, but I always wanted to get a pair because it's got the California whole five yeah. to it. So. Did you get the Forward's Gums? They're like 75 bucks. Uh, you know what? I'm really yeah. trying not to buy sneakers. If I am going to buy, it's gonna be those New Balances. Yeah, that's, that's a good one. That's the only one that would. You gotta go get heat right that no one really ha either. You gotta get shoes that no one has or that it slept on. That's, that's the like thing. my go-to right that's now. That's the thing. Yeah. That's that's why I'm thinking of selling my pandas because like I look around, I and it's like all these people. Too. I you know what? I even found the Thunder Force, the Red Thunders. Really? Yeah, yeah. I think I told I like you those. I couldn't find those, and I, I had those are slept on too. Kind of feel like I like those. The Thunder Force are nice. Yeah, but mm -hmm. remember how many people had them on? I sold mine though. Yeah, oh, you sold them? I sold my my personal pair. I sold. Oh, I thought you kept it. Sold my personal pair for that. I sold my military blacks. My military blacks. I told. I sold some guy in the UK. Oh, really? The military he, blacks. Thanks, are, bro. He's like, bro. <laughs> he he texts me. He's like, bro, can you do me three hundred five each? I was like, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> three hundred five each on release day was perfect. Yeah, yeah. Three hundred five yeah. each on that. He paid two ten per grade school. Wow. He that paid for shipping good. and everything. Yeah, bro. What about the the fire red threes coming out? What do you think of those? I'm not really a threes guy. Besides, no? besides like on some hypey stuff, like the Alma mm. threes, all ones I like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, glad yeah. I said that because I know there's uh, hundreds of thousands of people that think the same way. Alma so threes. I'm so happy to hear that. Alma threes. That's the only three I'm like <laughs> I go crazy for because I have UNC threes. Mm. They're like I like, I like the color. That's it. Yeah, besides yeah, that, yeah. I'm not a heavy threes guy. I I slept on the powder blue threes and I kind of like those. I'm I'm which ones I really threes. like Georgetown ones. Yes, I think those are nice because they're Georgetown, classic. Look. Oh yeah, I don't like the material. They were kind of really? stiff. I yeah, yeah. Them. I feel like they're trying to be like the '85 vibes. That's why it was they are. Stiff. They are. Oh, oh you mean that's why it was stiff? The '85s, the Chicago Reimagines. I feel like those are gonna be. Uh, like a giant release Those are gonna have The crack leather They've been testing it On all these other sneakers I guarantee it's gonna oh, Have a crack leather The Sorry It's still the best one bro I know like I, I wish I had them you have I don't have any Actually no I might have They were mids right No no, no they were highs 
Might have, but not the eighty five cut. You definitely definitely have probably has them, honestly. I, I got the origin stories because I missed out on those twenty. Yeah, I got the origin story. I got lucky. Hit on two pairs for the origin stories. I paid wow. resale for mine. I, paid re- nah, yeah, I, paid I think I paid twice. like three hundred though. Or right now they're like, like eight hundred. I sold my yeah, second pair for like seven eighty. You had a brand new? Yeah. I hit on release day. I got two pairs on release day. Yeah, dude, I have so many I have turbo greens still. Uh, bro, I paid brand four hundred uh flight club bread ones. <laughs> Bread ones. Bread ones. Now they're like, wow. still like, I can still get my money back used. And I think I sold my bread ones for two eighty, like after the, the fees and all anymore. of that. I'm like, I'm kind of into the, like the vintage shoe kind of vibe now. Honestly, like I want some eighty five. Like in the store, the, yeah. my uh, the guy I work with, he has eighty five Royals. They're nice. Honestly, you can't wear them. They smell like gym socks. <laughs> like, me personally, like I just want a pair. Just say I have a pair of '85 Chicago sitting. Yeah, that's, those are nice. They are nice. Even honestly. old dunks are nice, like an old six dunk, shit like that. The Supreme ones from like the early 2000s are sick. Yeah. So let me ask you, Jordan specifically, what number Jordan will you not? Or, all right. What is your least favorite number Jordan, and what is your most favorite number Jordan? So just that and the double digits. Like, besides, those are the ones that you know. So like 12, 13, 14. Whatever you know of, whatever you know. Of. You so know 18, 17. So one of my favorites. So you like, like I don't 17s? Really, 17, because that was my first Jordan. Uh, okay. Oh really? Yeah, black 17s. The team the Jordan with the suitcase and the DVD inside. The, the Dub Zeros. Nah, nah. You rock them. 17s, bro. I don't know. <laughs> no, 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 no. I used to have Dub Zeros. I don't know how I feel. Like I that. love them. The first sneakers I ever bought with my own, like I went to work and got paid. Really? Uh, What's the first sneaker I bought myself? Oh, really? Still gray. Uh, the red, red, and still gray. I like, I like the threes. I like the fours, but the problem with the fours, I don't like that plastic tag in the back. Sometimes it yeah. cuts your heel. You know, your it's ankle. funny. The first, this is a crazy story. The first shoe I ever got for myself retail was the Air Force Travis Scotts. That's my first shoe I ever bought for myself. Retail. Retail. I had wow. sneakers. That was my first ever sneakers. Wait, the sale or the white one? The one. I said the Air Forces. Yeah, yeah, that's, oh, that's the one I got. Right? Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, the, Travis Scott. The ones that were like There's purple two. and brown with a zipper on it. Oh, Those, yeah, 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 yeah. I remember because I was at a sneak. I was at no, I was at a car show event like at the Javits Center. Oh, and sneakers yeah, came yeah, up. Yeah, I entered yeah, it. I put my phone in my pocket. I walked around. Came up and said, "You got him." I went crazy. When I remember like I jumped around with excitement because I was like, "Damn, I hit some Travis Scotts for retail." Yeah. No, probably never again. Probably won't get the reverse mochas for retail. The reverse mochas. I I'm hoping. I don't want to get ahead of myself, but I'm hoping I get them. So do I. I need them. Those yeah. are, are must have. I already know what's gonna happen. Travis Scott's gonna drop them on yeah, his website. Tank. I hope they're like three hundred dollars. He's gonna drop them on their website. They're dropping Air Max like seven times. I didn't get any for retail. <laughs> yeah, dude. Oh, I bought a pair. Oh, you did? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have it upstairs. I'd have to I bring it down. Let's see those. those. The you Saturns. Oh, you got it for retail? Wait, would you? No, no, no. Not for retail. You, I pay resale. How much you pay resale? Uh, three, close bad. to 300. So actually, like, I, have, I have these group of guys I was, uh, I guess you say, like, I was looping with and stuff. They actually bought the Air Maxes for $800 and they have, like, pre release. And now they're trying to get their money back. So right now they're charging, like, $800 for their Wow. Pair. They won't go any lower because they need the money back. That makes back. sense. That's how I was with the uh, Grateful Dead. Yeah. I was trying to sell, I spent a lot of money tanked. on that. I didn't make more mo- the money I spent you, like, on it. You got rid of them just to get rid of them. Yeah, I, I did. Honestly, I regret it. I should have just kept it yeah, at that, that was, point. Yeah, I was looking at Topher, but like, so back to saying my favorite Jordan. I don't know. I like, I like low tops. I do like dunks a lot, mm. but Jordan fours kind of have my heart right now. Jordan I, fours I only, are you know definitely. Nice. I say that I only have one pair of Jordan fours. It's yeah, fear but it doesn't matter. I only have fear fours. Matter. That's a good pair to have. That's a great pair to have. <laughs> I got it for retail, so that's a really good thing to have. I but. um, I like the fours, but like that back tab. Yeah, sometimes it's a little like. So what's the last thing you got a pair of icy whites or you never have never owned a pair of pair really of for myself ever in my life jeez you get a throwback icy whites and braid your hair bro. braid my hair get an Allen Iverson jersey get an Allen Allen Iverson jersey maybe I put the sweatband on Word. it always felt so good when you got a fresh pair of Air Forces with a fresh pair of white tee that shit I have a picture of me just cleaning my old Air Forces <laughs> and then have my new ones sitting right on top of the desk that's funny yeah I've never owned a pair of Air Forces yeah never. Uh, that I was the thing like, to get I had the Travis Scott's I I regret now selling them. I wish I would have kept them. Because of the price, right? Very high. I wish I would have jumped on those SBs that came out, the Travis Scott SBs. Those were like the most expensive ones. I was like, yo, those are ugly. I was being a hater. Those are not ugly. They're not. They're They're, nice. They're really nice. I like crazy looking SBs. To me, the thing is like, I won't spend... Three hundred dollars plus on a dunk that's on a basic color, like Kentucky dunks. I would never get because yeah, it's a basic, it's basic color. color. SBs when they do SBs, they go all out. They do it right. What do you think about the Paisleys? I don't the think dunks? those are those are dunks. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, having the store, I'm like, what? You like them? 
It's just like no, no, not that one. The one that's like tan with the red, and you can like cut away the material. Oh that no, one. I do like those. Those a lot. are the SBs you're talking about. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, I thought those were the. I thought they were dunks, there's but dunk they are SBs. SBs. Yeah, yeah. There's, I'm sorry, there's a dunk pages and the SB pages. Yeah, I like the SBs. The a lot. SBs. They shock dropped on sneakers. I wish I would hit. They didn't come out again, right? Nope. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy them. On, on those the, are another pair. Talking about what sneakers we're gonna get? Yeah, those are pairs. I get those definitely. You gotta get them right now. Those, Don't sleep on those. Another collab. I want. I want to finish my union collab. So, me, and, I hit on the sneakers pads. Me and Ant went to the city and we recorded a video. I believe you have it uploaded, right? The pistachios. The pistachios. That was the AC video. I really want those, bro. Those yeah, nice. watch that. That's another up, video. Though. Again. Size up. Oh, they made them. Shout out, just nice. It's that, it's that uh that material, bro. I wish I got eleven and a half in them. That's a, that's like my. Did you sell it? No, I kept those. Like, I, I remember them. when you walked in, you're like, yo, they <laughs> this material up. I went, yeah. I was like, bro, this is, this this is all messed up. <laughs> he was like, that's part of the shoe. I'm like, oh. <laughs> I, have to actually, I think, what that guy offered me, 500 for them? I want to do uh, the purple pulse colorway. I, I, I want, I, so, actually, I forgot. We went to convention. Last convention we went yeah. together. There was a guy wearing the core purple ones, right? What's the last two colorways for them? The, the purple cor- ones? Core purple? Right? It's not the green ones. And the green ones. Right? ones. Oh, no, blue, blue. That's what it is. It's blue and purple. Yeah, okay, two. okay, yeah, There's yeah. This guy yeah. wearing both of them, honestly. Oh, the street. one color. That looks sick together. Yeah, yeah, I would yeah, do something yeah. like that. What's cool about it is because they're modeled after international passports. So you got the U.S. passport, you got whatever other passport. So if you're wearing Are they two. All the passports? Yeah, that's, that's why they're called the passports. They're supposed to be. So if one, you're wearing two separate on each sneaker, it's like you're international. I think one's, yeah. I think one's Japanese. One's oh, Japanese. The whole collab's supposed to be Japanese because you look Crazy. at the wrapping paper and stuff, it's Japanese. Crazy. Do you have a pair, don't you? Which one do you have, Lou? The pistachios. one that's modeled after the pistachios, yeah. That's the U.S. one, I think. Yeah, that's the U.S. one. So, back to, like, what are, what are you guys eyeing specifically right now? So, you- so, the rest of the Union Dunks. Mine, you. Hey, yo! <laughs> what? <laughs> so, the re- so, definitely the rest hey, of the... Yo, hey, yo. Guy, yeah. Like, yeah. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. I should have Spider-Man, like, swinging, like, a graphic saying, no, hey, New yo. The New York Spider-Man. You know that guy, right? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. At this point, I love SBs, so I, I literally would buy all those up. Yeah, I can't. The bar SBs, I definitely want to get. Mm. I'm trying not to get crazy, man, because, like... Oh. We need to save your money. I know. Look at I mean, you can look see, at his shoes. Like, I, and Ask like, him how many he wears. Dude, he I wears try, his dad's shoes. I try to wear them all, but he wears tens every is, day. You can't wear all your sneakers. And I don't know how people like Mayer and Perfect Pair and all them no, do. They it. all sell their shoes. They all start to sell it. Remember that? Yeah, guy? yeah. Like it's part of the game. It's though. ridiculous. Yeah. It's ridiculous. You can't wear all of them. Although, when I used to work at the company uh, prior to where I'm at now, and you could wear whatever you want, I put on a different pair of shoes every day. Oh, I mean. And that that was helpful, but now you know I'm working from home. It's a little different. Yeah, I mean, I just put them on, but who's looking at them? Nobody. Exactly. So I got a question for, I guess everybody. What is your right now? What is your Grail shoe? My Grail shoes, though. I Grail. I think right now. Like that you want that you don't have. Or even call that I don't have. One you don't have. One you don't have. I think the the immediate one that comes to mind is my. Core purple ones. Really? Like that you don't have? That I don't have. I think those are slept on. Bro, those are sitting at like. Grail? Those are sitting at like three, aren't they? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you could just buy them right now. First <laughs> <laughs> buy now. It's not Grail if you could just buy it right now. <laughs> They're 448. That's still, that's, that's not horrible. That's not horrible. Yeah, you payment. I guess it is a good time to buy yeah, something. That's what I'm saying. It's a great time yeah, to buy shoes. Oh, you know what oh, I do? I'm on threes. I don't have those. Those are nice. Those, those, that's a, those are that's nice. That's a Grail. Well, you know, my recommendation if you're gonna wear a shoe go to go buy it used buy it I've, I've been thinking about that I buy used shoes I'm gonna wear them anyway I don't care what they look like I mean I'm good at cleaning shoes so if you're really that much of a big deal I'll just clean the shoe and yeah, just yeah, put them yeah. on myself I, I've been thinking about that ever since you cleaned mine by the way that video came out where they cleaned my uh, I wore these and they were like yo those things look clean cause they got cleaned they got cleaned by the sneaker cleaner himself yeah, these are these are a sneaker. I wouldn't call these my grails, but I've always wanted these. That's a good one to have, though. I'm trying. And I, and I bought those used, and that's what got me thinking. I should start wearing used sneakers. Because think about it, you can get used cheaper. For- 
Okay. And you feel a better lot of times, like, exactly. you feel better about wearing. I hate breaking in shoes. New pair, yes. Bro. Travis highs, and I do not want to wear them. Bro. Yeah. As soon as I wear them, I wear them for you. From like nineteen hundred all the way to like twelve. What I try to tell myself to feel good wearing them is that even if I did wear it, the value is still there. Like I still get my money back. No, that's true. You really, but if you bought at a high, it's different. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Extent. yeah, that's true. So what's your grill then? Oh man, honestly, if I had to choose, my grail would be the Chicago ones. Yeah, which ones? 85s or no? I, no, not the 85s. 2015s? Probably. Really? Because the quality is good. Yeah. I would, I want, deep down, I want to say the Chicago ones, the off white version. Yeah. But so, at the same time, on like, release, right? Are they or are they, they released the off white, yeah. the Chicago one off whites? Yeah. Those are like the first ones that came out. Okay. But the thing is, like, that's like $600 I'm not spending on. I'm not spending on a pair of sneakers, no. I had trouble at one point getting over $300 yeah. to spend on a sneaker. My and then I spent problem. like five ones, and then I was like, all right, nine, and so, then I can't go really past that. My favorite thing to do is PayPal paying for. That's, oh, I love that. That's pain. getting you in trouble, though. It that's is. That's getting you in trouble. Because like, I'll buy something like 140 I'm like, oh, I'll pay 30 bucks today. Today. And then tomorrow, I'll pay the rest. Exactly. Every two weeks, I could take 30 bucks out. But that's, the, the, but that's getting you in trouble. I, I, thought, I do pay for a lot. Yeah. <laughs> I got. I had to slow up. I was like, oh, shit. Clarna sometimes, too. What? Yeah. Like your payment's due. I'm like, all right, take it out, bro. It's only 25 bucks. Yeah, exactly. I'll borrow from Ant. But that comes in clutch. And the fact that Go, StockX, all these places offer yeah, it. Not. Do we got on Goat for you shoes, bro? You pay like 80 bucks up front. You guys don't mess with eBay? I won't. Not yet, because there's I no sold, there's I, no paying for on it. I'll tell you why. I, two pairs that I went through the whole authentication process. Yeah. And it went well, used and new. I don't doubt it. I, I trust their process. I don't have anything against eBay. I just don't like the interface, meaning I don't want to have to type in the shoe. I don't want to have to look at all the different pictures. I don't want to have to read really all the really captions. Bro? Because at the end of the day, <laughs> there's all these different competitors, and you could reach out to them and probably yeah, get it for you cheaper. You probably sell the price at match. A higher, at a higher uh, amount. That's the thing about eBay. What do you mean? You control the, the amount you can sell your shoe for. So I'm talking about buying, though. No, that's what I'm saying. So, like, if you have a shoe, you can put, like, $400. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, a shoe that's usually worth 300 on going to StockX. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, at the end of the day, the reason why I don't go to eBay is because of the interface. That's yeah. it. Okay. But I don't have anything against it. Like, I would put in the effort, but it's just so much easier to type it in, see the yeah, shoe, it's and it's like, if I hit buy now, it's that price. I know it's new. I don't have to think anything of it. Exactly. But Convenience, bro. There has been times. I don't got to think. I but Click. True. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> but there has been times where you buy it, you you buy it, and then you get the shoe and you're like, "There's a scuff on this sneaker, or there's uh, something that I didn't know about. They they, they didn't tell me oh, about." Oh yeah, that that does. That happen. and that part is, and then you can't do anything about it really because they're like, "All right, we'll just sell it right through the app again." Or a factory defect. Or factory. They, they didn't describe. Factory defect. Yep. And you just get sent the shoe. Yeah. Right. Exactly. So the I do. Not sponsored by eBay, but we're we're welcome to the sponsor. So yeah. <laughs> Speaking about the grails though, I think right now, like okay, so in a hype sense, my grail right now would be definitely the sale fours off whites. The women's. Yeah, I like those a those lot. Those are nice. Those are nice. Those are super nice. Like that's when the shoe I was like, damn, would a fake be that bad? But I never came across. I would. I, that thought I'm like, no, it's my grail. Like you know, and once I have the money, I'll buy it. Kind of thing. Yeah. I said that, and then like I said earlier, the '85 Chicago is a clear so. sole on the bottom. Girls so get better shoes than guys. They oh, really do, sure. and it's because it's all about women right now. And I don't. I'm all for yeah, it. Yeah, I'm, I'm all for, for it. it. Listen, they make my size they, of women's. Go it's ahead. Always it's always been about women. Always, it's we always, love the women. Yeah. Always. All right. <laughs> it, it, so we got these. Oh yeah, let's review these, these bad boys. So we got these. Actually, these kind of go with me. My outfit. These kind of go with me outfit now. All right, Jack Sparrow. <laughs> these are actually pretty dope. I like this colorway a lot. I got I got looking at both. The I, Union the what are these? Uh, I forgot the name of these Cortezes, right? Do you resell? I I don't think so, right? Drop the blue. Yeah, yeah, this has a little bit of resale on it. Bro, like Bro all yeah. the store collabs have good resale on them. Besides these. So besides these. Besides these. <laughs> Ready? Bro. Bro, look at these damn things, yeah. Those trainers look mighty tight, man. Yeah, bro. Oh, dang. Those look like bowling shoes. Exactly. Look how crazy these look on foot. Oh, the toe is so narrow. Exactly. Look at these things. I look goofy with these things on. Yeah, I see what you're saying. 
I don't know if I like him anymore. Exactly. <laughs> I don't know. He's our size, us half size up. Yeah, I dude. Know, honestly, like, if I'm in Miami and we, you know, just got out the club or whatever, I don't give a shit. Bro. But I'm not wearing these to the club. These are tight. Yeah, you and know I what it is. He's been rocking foam runners and fucking Yeezy slides. I've been rocking foam runners alone. and barefoot. You know what it is? A lot of sneakers like these, it feels funny. It looks funny at first. But then give it like a few months. Do you come back to it. No. Bro, honestly, it's one of I've seen in a person that have a lot of sort of lotion. I like the colors. I like the colors. Very it gives cool. me a 70s vibe. I was telling you guys over This is recycled the material down the at the bottom. Chinos on a J. Crew shirt. See, look. Chino and it flips up, says Nike. Yeah, I saw that. This guy, oh, you know, this little guy does a backflip. Speaking about flip up things, right? You know what's tough when you uh, flip down the tab on the, the threes for the Amas? It has that whole, like, dedication. Oh, message. I forgot about that. You're right. You're right. What are those called? Uh, Nor. Oh, the Nor those. one's rough. So, originally, I like these. But. They look vintage. They I'm, kind of vintage but I'm not a fan of them in person. Take a gander there, bud. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not a so big this fan. This is the way I try to adjust shoes. Would I buy this if it's not a collaboration? This is probably looking better though on your foot than the other ones. I would imagine. I think those look better on feet than the other ones. You think so? Yeah, but they still look like bowling shoes. Cause I got a wide foot, bro. I need like a size 13 of these damn things. No, those things look like you're about to score 300. These are, man. So see, here's the thing. In seeing you wear these, I like these better. On foot, because this part is black and it matches and it kind of blends in better. Mm. But I like the color of this one. So when I first bought these, I bought these first. Yeah, those are nice. Yeah, I like yeah, the color a lot. Brand. They're like, you can grab another pair. I grabbed the Norris. I was like, no, I might as well complete the set. Wait, when you where did you go to get it? Hush. Mm. Dude, bro, there's like ten people online. They said you could get two pairs. Had a, so you get walk in buy one pair first. You know, yeah. You came back. This is the thing. You had to grab a pair of socks to buy the second pair. Of course. So I paid, technically, I paid market for these. GBNY games. tried to do that. Yeah, GBNY, yeah for my for playoff 12. You won! Like, playoff yeah, 12. Yeah, <laughs> all right, playoff 12. I was looking at the market. I'm like, all right, yeah, it's not good. Why am I well, paying extra? 280 for playoff 12. I didn't order these socks. I was like, socks? <laughs> these Jordan socks? I'm not mad at them for trying, but I'm not going to pay for they socks. They really tried. GBNY just sent hate mail after this. Imagine. You're never winning again. I haven't answered since that day. They Honestly, threw me off with that. I figured that's that's why anytime I win a raffle, I try to go get it because I feel like if you don't, they're gonna screw you over. Yeah, but who knows? Yeah, Maybe I that's not true. Maxes at Kith last time. Which one, bro? Sold them on stock X. The Matter Roots. Yeah. The uh, the tree blue, lines. The blue. Korean doves, whatever. Oh, the the ducks yeah, yeah, that yeah. you had. Yeah, 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 yeah. What do you guys think about? Uh, I guess you say bootleg shoes. Like, Ooh, like shoes, you know like, what I mean? Fakes? Like, how, like, no, no, like, Bape making like, their oh, own air forces, like, Kai, Keto Wears, Cool yeah, yeah, Kai, yeah, 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 I mean, Hellcats. You know what's crazy? I, what's I don't crazy? Know how they go about getting those silhouettes in the factory and getting them done. So, those silhouettes aren't patented to an extent, hmm. really. But do you have to change enough? So, like, if you look at it, like, Bape probably changed like where their logo's placed, like, yeah. measuring wise, like, it's not match to match with the uh, Air Force One. The yeah. Nike swoosh probably doesn't match up with the Bapes Air Force. I, seen this, I mean, the Bape swoosh. I know this guy was showing me the Warren Lotus collection and the way that they did it. And honestly, I could not appreciate they, it. I thought it was ugly. They, what are you talking what, about? What, what, what the one with the pigeons? With all the all the ones with the Jason face. The one, all of them. Warren Lotus got hit with a season assist. Though. Yeah, dude. There was like that's when I started off. getting into Warren Lotus. When he came out with those pigeons that were the pigeon dunks, basically, mm -hmm. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna get the. And Jeff Staple co-signed it. Mm -hmm. I bought them. I forget. I think they were like 300. And then uh, he got hit with that whole season assist thing. You yeah, have to Warren No, they didn't send them. They were oh. like, because we can't send them to you, we're gonna send you a shirt, and you know, you'll be the only one that has this particular shirt. You still have it. You know what I like about I got, yeah, I have the shirt. Yeah. The Eric Emanuel. Yeah, yeah. The Warren Lotus brands is that they they understand the branding side. Yeah. Like they understand that a lot of people are gonna resell their shit, and if so you, they charge if high you for get already. the resellers to like your shit, that's when. So I don't think Warren Lotus resells, does it? No, no, not not, not that. But like their commander resells. Exactly. They. I got you. Around resellers like vintage people. And yeah. Vintage. What about vintage clothing resellers? How do you feel about that? Ant. So that's oh, your boy. That's right. Ant, that's Ant's field. So he's getting. It's, he's getting it's hot. Good, bro. It's just similar to like the pops. You get in uh, low and you try to sell high, mm -hmm. but. The whole thing is, is that your videos and how you post things and the curation of your store or whatever vibe, 
that is like what creates the price to go up. Yep. Because you come into a store, yeah. it's like a decoration. Uh, so more than actual, it's like an event. It's you like kind of want to make it feel event. special. So a particular shirt, you got to feel passionate about. Like right. I, 20, 2006. Twenty two thousand six. Yeah, twenty two thousand six. Let's let's hit twenty two thousand six. <laughs> what year is twenty two thousand six? I have this vintage. Future. I have this vintage shirt from thirty three thousand seven. Looser is a very uh, a good example, like the oh. community with that fade. I like that fading color though. Yeah, that's a lot of people go like with that. Shout wash. out to heavyweights. Exactly. So this one is faded, um, and it's it's. So I have another shirt I'm gonna pick it up soon. It's a vintage style shirt. I'm not gonna say what it is. Word. Cause. It's gonna be fire. It is gonna be fire. I'll show you guys after this. I'm gonna wear it next episode. But always, like that, I was tomorrow. telling you, number one advice: measurements. Get your measurements. Whenever I buy vintage, I send pictures to Ant first before I buy it. If he says it's no good, I don't buy it. Yeah, true. That's I send it. all my pictures, including my nudes. Hey, exactly. Yo. Yeah, I'm, the shower, I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, Ant, did I wash correctly? <laughs> yo, Ant. Yo, this podcast. Oh, <laughs> uh, so no, definitely. If you're into vintage shir- vintage shirts from 2026 20, 20, 20, 20, 2056 20, 2058. <laughs> Just hit up Ant. He got you. You're thinking, <laughs> think about this, right? The clothes we're wearing now. You think that's area we consider vintage clothes? It will. That's actually a good. It's, that's it's weird to think right? about. You know, that's weird to think about. Pants you're wearing. There's right. a word called fast fashion. Yeah, I've heard about that. Reason. Yeah. And that's the reason why the vintage community is doing well because a lot of people are bombarding the fast fashion. Like your Fashion Nova men and all that shit. Yeah, like, yo, bro, I ain't never. Mm-hmm. You wear so. You have Fashion Nova men? I don't even yeah. know what that is. If you guys don't know, Ant is actually sponsored by Fashion Nova. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Fashion Nova is like pretty much like this. Let's say, uh, okay. Kanye West has a crazy shirt, right? He drops like a, a basic tee kind of. They're like H and M. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. H&M. Oh, so, like okay. they'll drop a replica. Their They're version like, for like Gen Z, uh, like eighty dollars cheaper. They okay. Don't go to the mall. They want that uh, Sheen. Sheen, I've heard Sheen. of. Sheen's right. fast fashion to the max. Oh, I got you. I got, like, I got you. Your shorts off them for like seventy bucks. They sell men's clothes. I didn't even know. Sheen, is it yeah. quality though? Because nah, that's the I, thing. I, it's not like, quality, bro. It's fast. That's why I like stopped two or three shopping pairs. at Express. Because like Express? quality. Express is that's shitty like, quality. That's like a if I shop seven year old man clothes. Seven year old. Seventy year old. Oh, like, my fast fashion is Target, bro. Target's, I like Target a lot. Target is not fast fashion. Target has good collabs. Target is good collabs and quality shirts. Like bro. their men, their men's brand. Goodfellow, I think it's called. Yeah. I buy from them. I have so much of the I clothes, bro. They're so good. They're good. I hate Walmart. Sorry, Walmart. I won't buy from Walmart. I can't Unless judge. It's, <laughs> I can't I judge. I, I mean, I don't, actually, no, I'm lying. I'm lying. I'm lying because right. Walmart has some good fake vintage style clothes, yeah, and I do like them. Yeah, can't, like five can't bucks can't go wrong. Yeah, I haven't bought anything. I have an Aaliyah shirt from Walmart. What about Kohl's? Kohl's? Co- That's like I Marshalls. To, bro, I Marshalls. Went Marshalls. <laughs> I went to Marshalls. A bunch you, you went vintage clothing at Marshalls. Clothes. Sick ass clothes. Vintage. Yeah, you, you can find a lot of good stuff at Marshalls. A lot of stuff for like twelve dollars. Marshalls. Some Marshalls have like designer. Yeah, hey. they do. Yeah. They do. Bro, I bought not all of them. You bought the Truy. The Truy. You got the Truy. You got the Marshalls too. They get love. They get love you in New York. I never had Truy. Religion jeans. Yeah, okay. Got some, some, some boot cut. This guy is religion. true life over here. True life. <laughs> That's your cousin. That's your cousin. <laughs> <laughs> true life is. <laughs> um, I got some shirts I want to show off, actually. So I just recently picked these up. Bro, you're not from uh, New York. Are you from New York even? This is the Warren Lotus New York Knicks, but, uh, you know, it just says New York City. Is the Eric so, Emanuel Club? It is. It, it's a uh, Eric E. Manuel Warren, the Warren Emanuel pickup basketball, basketball league. league. All right, what's next? And I got this one right here. The Lakers one. This Laker. Los Bangalos. Yeah. It's actually nice. I like this one. Can I have it? It's pretty dope. It doesn't fit you, bro. I make it fit. I wear it made as a cutoff. Oh, if you don't I just wear that, If you don't wear that, L. A. Facts. Well, they, if he gets checked in L.A., they'll try to beat him up. Dude, I want to go back to L.A. Let's go. We should make a trip On to the LA. company card. On the company card. Leave it in the comments. What's your company card number so we can use it? And your social. <laughs> <laughs> Please DM us that part. I think we talked about a whole lot. And a lot of- this is the first episode again of Legion Talks. Talks. Legion Talks. Legion of Talks. Legion of Talks. Talks. Talking Legion with the Legion. Chat. Talking with the Legion. This is, uh, you know, I don't know what to call it. We'll figure it out. First thing we had to this, do. 
First step to any idea is trying. Trying. That's the first step. Damn, and with the motivational talk. I know, talk. right? I'll, he probably wakes up and pisses excellence. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> I mean, bro. This man said the first step is to just Dude. try it. You know what we should do? We should vlog one day if we go to Kith. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. We should. If you don't know, Kith is dropping the Spider-Man collab. By the time you see this video, you probably missed it. We should, be, we should wear it in the video, the next video. Yeah. That would be dope. That if would we be touch, dope. yeah. That would be dope. Thank you for tuning in if you have not already hit that like button hit the subscribe button and comment again leave some comments with your hit cvvs that hit the notification button yeah, the you, you know what that's yeah that's true hit that button. if you like it you know show Follow support. Us on instagram support, at Legion of kicks exactly. support is free support you don't need to send any money Next. Follow us at Legion of Kicks on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, MySpace, OnlyFans, Mi Gente, Mi Gente. Black Planet, all of that. All of that. Christian Mingle. Peace.